Good morning. Time is 20 past seven and I think I've nailed it. I'm testing the lad's computer this morning to see if it can do all the orders and processing. So far, so good. Our side done. Now just got to sort out the shipping. The problem is once the shipping label's done, printing it out can be a pain. That's where the issue is going to be. Yes! <laughs> it works! Delighted! That means that is one thing I can tick off now before shooting away. <sighs> so today we're going to try a different type of vlog. We have this Audi Q5 in all day for the AMD Details Protection and the Silver Discount Bundle. And we're going to vlog on this. Ooh, it's got a lot of polished residue on the plastics. See it all there? All the residue. Right, Scott's taking the before pictures and then we'll get this washed. So the wash and decontamination stages are complete on the Q5. We're just doing a snow foam rinse to make sure that we get rid of all the tar and iron before we clay it. Scott is topping up the chemicals over here while we wait. And cleaning out the buckets. Okay, vehicle's inside. We've cloth and blown dry it. Don't know why I couldn't get more of that then. And now I'm just working on cleaning up all the lowers with the ramp up in the air. Scott is helping clear the floor and get it sorted so we're not slipping around all over the place. The time is now, what is that, half 11? Little change of plan. This customer is picking up later on this evening so we've had to switch the cars. Whereas this customer will be picking up tomorrow because Scott's so away to enjoy the football. Hi Scott. And because Jimmy isn't in, this one's on me today. So I'll be working a little bit late and the customer's happy to pick up tomorrow. Boost. That is the lowers being glazed, so what I'm actually going to do now is put seal on them, drop the car down, glaze and buff the top, and hopefully by then the lower seal will be ready. Let's go! Top's done, we're back in the air. Let's buff the seal off. Time is now quarter past four-ish. The yard update. Looks like this is all getting ready for concrete and that thing's in, but the billy bonus is over here. If the council are happy with that gate, then a gate will get fitted here. And then if, this is all big ifs, I win the bidding for that yard, I can get access from my own unit. Ding! So where am I at on the Q5? That is seal on and off. I'm now waiting the drying time before I can put wax on. In between that time, I'm doing a couple of little jobs. The Q5 has been originally polished by someone else, so I've been waiting until this point to do it, but in between the drying times I've got to remove all the white residue you see in around the plastics, down the sides, literally it is everywhere. Once I've got that done, it's in the interior and putting G1 on, but I've also got to juggle that with customer picking up the A3 at around about half past five, so I need to make the unit look semi-presentable. So I don't think I'm going to be tackling the interior until it's gone. That means I can get all the sides cleared up now. And basically all I've got to play with is a bit of tar remover. I'll show you that trick. And aim wax. So now it's time to clear this up and get cracking on. Want to share a little tip for you guys. This is something I do when waxing. So you've just seen me film 
that bit of wax in. Then I've raised the car up and I'm away to do the door. But look, sometimes in darker cars it's hard to see where you're waxing. Oh hiya, how you doing? So I'll turn that off. If you didn't have my lights, you know, you're kind of blind. And then you can over apply wax, push too hard, etc. So in this area, can't see any wax. This area, you kind of can. But that's because we have Z lighting. But get yourself a little light like this and you can pop it on the floor. These are super cheap. We picked these up at B&Q for like 25 quid or something. And now you can see all the wax. You decide where it is, guys. Look, nice and mobile. You decide where you want to see. It's also fantastic to use as a wiping off tool, guys. So that you make sure you got rid of all your wax. Right, I'm gonna crack on waxing this one. Still plenty to do, and the time is chapping on. the X5. X5? It's a Q5. <laughs> With the plastics I showed you guys outside, it's time to show you a little trick on getting rid of the chalky residue and then protecting them with trim. What we need is AM tar and a microfiber cloth. Set tar, set cloth, spray in. Let's go to the car. And then you just bring the tar remover in and rub them plastics over. Ta da! Dry them off and coat them with trim. And if you find that doesn't work first time, it's usually because your plastics have quite a deep pile to them. So try using a blush or a blush. Try using a brush or a more plush microfiber towel. For those of you that are wondering why I'm here so late, look at this grill, full with white polish. <sighs> you see now I removed it from the arches? Well, I gotta do it with this grill, the front grill, and pretty much any panel gap. I have been going around and cleaning out the panel gaps when we were waxing and glazing earlier, but now, we're in the final stages and I'll literally have to go around and just find it and remove it. And now, on to the front. How on earth do you get polish in these areas? I mean, what? And that is it. I am done. I am beat. It's 11 o'clock. I'll come and finish the car off tomorrow. Still got to G1 it, uh, display it, double, triple, quadruple, five, manuple thing, check that all that white residue is everywhere. Really no idea how people get that everywhere, but it literally is in every crevice you can think of. Uh, do a wheelie stool, picture it, and then I can get in touch with the con customer and hand it back over. Really hope you're enjoying these guys, and if you are, then please do subscribe. Just hit that little AM Details logo, it's down here somewhere, and it'll say subscribe to the channel and do that. If you're already subscribing to the channel, then make sure you hit the bell, and then you can actually hit notifications, and it will email you, if you like to use the YouTube features, every time we drop these videos. If not, then the newsletter link, I'm going to put it below as well. You can hit on the newsletter, get our newsletter but also take the YouTube one and once a week I'll send you the playlist to all the week's videos so you can just watch the AM details on your bus. Okay guys, thank you very much. See you later.